Hi everybody, today we're going to learn how to draw the nose from straight on. So you can use a whole sheet of paper or you can see right here I'm using half a sheet of paper. I did the mouth last week and this week we're going to be working on the nose. So the first style that we're going to work on is straight on. So that means looking straight at a person. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and move this over and I'm going to draw, it's like a bird shape like we did with mouth, only with more of a hook to it. So it goes under. So that's where we're going to have the nostrils. Okay, so the element of art that we're learning this week is line. So we start this drawing with line, but we'll have to add the other elements like shading to this as well. Um, so that way you can make sense of it because noses are t difficult that way. It doesn't always make sense just this line. We're going to add the side of the nose. A little shading in here. And a little area here. To indicate where the eye is. And then we're going to go ahead and darken the nostril. And we'll add a little bit more detail as we go. Here, we're going to go ahead and add a little shading on the outside, the outer edge of the nose, because our nose casts a lot of shadows. And on the side as well. Here's the area, the U-shaped area underneath. Probably a little more shading here and then I think let's see here as well it's giving it a little definition we'll go up here and we'll have most a little shadow here as well the bridge of the nose Alright, so we've gotten to this part or this point in the nose. And again, this is straight on. There's just a little things we have to do to clean it up. Um, we want to straighten the bridge of our nose slightly. And this area is a bit of a ball. So I don't want to take create the like a whole ball, but just kind of the idea of it, just like gently adding that in, adding a little more shading down here, just slightly. And then we'll call that, you know, the eyes are going to be over here, the mouth is going to be down here. And then we'll move on to the three quarters view. So this next nose, it is easier to perceive, um, like, or see. This is three quarters view. So what we're going to do first is that you're going to have the eyebrow, so you can kind of get an idea of where this nose is coming from. So we're going to give it, it's not, well, the eye, bone, the eyebrow bone, and then we're going to bring this line down, where it's, it's really light, we're just getting an idea of where it's going to go, and then I'm going to just um, pause for a second there, and then I'm going to add a bit of a circle down here. Of course, this is one strategy, and you can use others, and this nose may not be quite as, well, I guess it's, no, I'm not completely lined up with the other ones a little higher on the page so we're not going to worry about that and then on this side we're going to bring the nostril out it's sort of that hook shape that we had on straight on and we'll go over here and do the same idea this side will be a little bit wider because it's closer to us and we'll start to 
figure out our final line. All right, so this is just the basics. And then we'll start to add in the details like the top of the nostril here and over here. And a little bit of the shadow of the eyebrow up here, just so we get a little bit of a gauge as to where we are in space. And I'm going to start shading this area in, maybe darker, closer in. Lighten up a little bit. This will be the nostril. Start to erase up part of that circle. So I made it light. And a little shading, more shading here. So we use the line to define it. And then we're using the shadow to define, um, or to continue to define the spaces. So the line helps us figure out where, where we are. And then the shadow helps us um, a little bit more than that. So we're going to go ahead and add shadow here. We just have to keep defining. We're going to increase our shadow here and I'll smudge it so it doesn't look so forced. And then a little more shadow here. And this whole area right here will turn into like the bridge of the nose and I'll shadow down. I'm going to change the angle of my pencil. So it's always just like adding more, taking away. And then here it's just a straight line and we're going to almost erase part of that out so it's implied. And an implied line means it's, you, you assume, you don't quite, you can't see it, but your eye assumes it's there, your brain assumes it's there. And a little more shadow here, kind of like a triangle. Everybody's nose is shaped different, so the best way to practice noses is to look at a picture and practice that way. And again, we have the U shape here. I would move down to the mouth, darken in my shade, my shadows. Add a little bit to the outer edge. coming along. You could work on it all day, so I'm not going to. We're just going to have the illusion of the nose. Three quarters view. So the nose is part of the whole face. And when we're trying to learn how to draw a face, we have to learn how to draw in proportion. So I'm going to move the camera down slightly here so we can see the bottom of this page and break this up so we can add in the proportions of the face. So straight on, you're going to have an oval or circle, and you're going to split this in half this way, and then this way. So halfway down is where you would have your eyes, okay? You're gonna split that in half again, and this is where your nose would be, and I'm just eyeballing it, and then halfway down from there it would be where the mouth is. So this one, this type of nose, would be there, and we have this and this. So we're just gonna leave it as that for now. We're not going to draw more of the face. So this is the straight on. 
style. And again, I'll draw, I'll write it. Although the three quarters nose, you have a slightly different situation. So the head is turned at a slight angle. So we're going to draw the oval here. And I'm going to draw a curved line in the direction that the nose is facing. Again, I will break this in half just like I did with the straight on view. I bring it across like this and then halfway again. And then I'm, my circle wasn't quite even, so I'm gonna erase that so I can put the line in for the mouth. Okay, and so then this type of nose, and hook around and hook around right there. So this is your three quarters nose. So you can see more of the bridge than the other one. So this doesn't have to be perfect. This is giving you the idea of how to make a face in proportion and I'm going to write three quarters view. So we have math in art as well as in, or in art, just like you would have it in math. So refractions. All right, so this is what we're going to do right now. This will be our project one. And I hope you enjoy it and don't get frustrated. I'm not expecting perfection. Um, it's just to get you introduced to the idea of making noses. And then what we'll do for project two is making the profile. Okay, so that's the side of the face. All right, so thanks for drawing with me today, guys. Bye.